You're looking to live in Saratoga Springs or the surrounding area, well then hang on, you're going to want to watch this video because in this video I'm going to cover 12 things you should know if you're going to be living in the Saratoga Springs area. So stay tuned and watch the video. My name is Chris McMahon and I'm a local real estate agent and I cover the Saratoga Springs, the surrounding area, and the entire capital district. And I put out a ton of videos all about the capital district and the surrounding areas. So if this is your first time to my channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also click that bell so that you get notified when any new videos come out. And I'm putting out a ton of videos that are coming out all the time. I also get a ton of phone calls off from people looking to sell their home, buy a home in the area, maybe they're looking for investment or rental property, but I get a ton of phone calls all the time from people and I love it. So if you're looking at real estate in the Saratoga Springs area or anywhere in the surrounding area and you have questions or anything I can help you out with, then make sure you reach out and get a hold of me today. You can either call me, send me a text to my cell phone. Uh, send me an email, whatever works best for you, but reach out, get a hold of me today. So let's start by having that conversation. When we can get to know each other a little bit better, I can get an idea of what you're looking for and how I can help you. Okay, let's jump right into it here. So let's go over the 12 things that you must know if you're going to be living in the Saratoga Springs area. And and the first thing that you're going to want to know is that Saratoga is located in the foothills of the Adirondack Mountains. So the Adirondacks is a huge park. It's both publicly and privately owned. It's a mix of both, but it uh, incorporates a large chunk of upstate New York and there's just a ton of stuff to do. If you're into the outdoors, you're into the wilderness, anything like that, summer, fall, winter, there's just an endless thing to do. There's kayaking, there's a ton of lakes with houses on the lakes for boating, um, on trails if you're into snowshoeing in the winter or hiking in the summer you can climb some of the high peaks that are located in the area um, and it's just a short drive north. Uh, it starts about you know the Lake George area so it's about a 20 minute drive or so north starting from Saratoga Springs but it heads all the way up uh, almost up into Canada there but again and there's just anything you can think of to do outside there's just a ton of stuff to do up in the Adirondack Mountains. Alright the next thing keeping along those lines of the Adirondacks you don't even have to go that far if you're into hiking and walking trails and that kind of stuff you just have to head in just a few uh, just a few minutes north into uh, the Wilton area, uh, just on the uh, outside of Sarah Springs, and they've got uh, the Wilton Walking Trails, which is scattered and dotted, and dotted throughout that area. There's several trails, um, and they're all, you know, vary in size, but from a mile, a couple miles long, not really huge. But, you know, it's real nice if you want to head over there with the kids for a quick walk, or maybe you're taking the dog for a walk, just to get outside, get a little exercise. Um, and you don't have time to head all the way up and, and get to some of those high peak areas, stuff like that, but it's a short little distance there. But so that's number two is the Wilton Walking Trails. Uh, and, and again, they're located around the area. And number three is Saratoga Lake. All right, Saratoga Lake is a great spot. Um, some of the houses on there are huge and they're beautiful. Um, the lake is uh, roughly uh, four miles along around, around in that area, but you know, it's got a nice little area. It's got a number of marinas there where you can dock your boat year round. You can just kind of head out there. It's located uh, just a few minutes from the middle of Saratoga Springs. It's not a far drive at all. Um, there's also Sandy Bay, which is out there, which is an area where the water is kind of shallow and a lot of people go in and dock their boats and like to hang out for the day. And I believe they've also got a uh, water uh, volleyball net set up there as well. But you know, it's typical. There's fishing and kayaking and that kind of stuff out in the, uh, on the lake, but it's just a great little fun place to uh, spend the day out on a boat or, you know, kayaking or something like that. Get a little, uh, little summer fun 
And number four here, and this is one of the things that Saratoga is most famous for, is its racetrack. Okay, the Saratoga racetrack, which opens up uh, in July and runs for about six weeks from July through August. Um, and it is considered one, of, it is, actually it is the oldest still continually working racetrack in the country here. Um, there's just something about it, it is, uh, it is definitely uh, something that you're going to want to catch today. even if you're not into the horses or anything like that you don't really care uh, about betting but it is just the whole experience of the Saratoga race course um, is just something to be had so it's Uh, some of the next things you want to talk about here is museums. So we got a ton of museums. There is, you know, along the racetrack, we've got the National Racing Hall of Fame. Uh, there is a National Dance Hall of Fame. We have a car museum. There's a children's museum. We have a military museum located in the downtown area. But there is a ton of museums uh, in Saratoga. So if that's your thing, then it's one of the things you're going to really want to know. That kind of check those out uh, when you're living in the area. And number six, just the entertainment in general. I mean, one of the things I mentioned was a racetrack. Uh, they've also got in the state park, we've got uh, SPAC, uh, Saratoga Performing Arts Center, where a lot of the big bands come in and play. Dave Matthews Band comes in and play every summer. Uh, Keith Urban, a lot of country music. Uh, and it's also the home for the Philadelphia Orchestra and the New York City Ballet in the summer as well. Other entertainment venues that we got there, is there's a new theater that just opened up um, on Broadway or in the downtown area. A ton of restaurants, a ton of bars in downtown as well, and we'll kind of talk about that in a little bit later here. Um, so moving on, the next thing we got, number seven here, is the State Park, and I mentioned that's where SPAC is located, but there's also a ton of other things in there. Just a great location to go in there. There's two golf courses located in there, as well as tennis courts. Um, there's also a, a spa little theater where they put on local uh, shows and plays. Um, there's just a bunch of areas in there where you can just pull in a park and just kind of relax, find yourself a picnic table. They've got uh, built-in grills. So all you need to do is just bring the food in the charcoal and the grill will sit in there already. You can light it up, have a picnic in it during the day with the friends and family. Um, there's also pavilions in there as well that can be rented. Uh, for entertainment, they have a party, you know, maybe a wedding or an anniversary or something on a birthday party, something along those lines. In the summer months, they also have a farmer's market as well. And I also, I mentioned a little bit about this before, but downtown, it's, downtown is fantastic. There's all kinds of things to do. There's a ton of restaurants, shopping, um, bars, uh, ben and Jerry's is down there, but I mean, you can just, if you've got nothing to do and you're not sure where to go, do just go downtown and just take a walk and you will find something. There's all kinds of entertainment things, stuff to do down there. You can just go down there and jump in, a, go in a restaurant, and have a quick bite to eat with some friends. It's just a ton of things to do down there, bookstores, all kinds of shoppings, uh, that kind of stuff. So I, I would highly recommend you check out the downtown area and it's a must know if you're looking into the Saratoga Springs area. And also the springs, there's a number of them there. I don't even know exactly how many there are, but there, there's definitely uh, uh, quite a few that you can go and you can taste, you can try them out. But it's really what made uh, Saratoga famous. They were said to have healing power, so people started coming here uh, for the springs, to bathe in the springs, and to drink from the springs. Uh, they had ailments, and it was said to have uh, healing powers to help heal them up. Um, but you can try them. Uh, and there's you know full minerals and so some of them don't taste so good but you know definitely uh, something that you're going to need to know in the area and you know worth going around and giving it a try. I hear they, uh, they do a good job for help curing a hangover. Alright the next we got is the Saratoga Hotel and Casino and uh, this is located just a short drive down the road from uh, the racetrack. It also has a racetrack, a harness track. Um, for the horses racing there as well, but it's, it's a casino, it doesn't have any of the tables, but it's got a lot of the video gaming machines, so you can do blackjack and craps, it's just on the video games, other than that, it's a lot of the video slot machines there. Um, and the hotel is attached to that as well, and they've got a, uh, a great nightclub in there that's pretty popular, it's called The Vapor, where they've got some live entertainment. Okay, and number 11, I'm going to go back a little bit because we already mentioned it for the downtown area, but 
we got restaurants and food, and we've got some great restaurants and food in this area. Um, not only just in the downtown area, but when you push out a little bit uh, over by the racetrack, uh, there's some great spots over by Exit 15 in Wilton where there's the shopping. We've got some nice spots out there. Also in Saratoga Lake, there's a couple of real gems out there on the lake area as well. So, you know, when you come in and, and you know, you look around in the area, you know, ask around a little bit, see what people's favorites, kind of pick one here and there and, and try them out. You won't be disappointed because let me tell you, there's some fantastic restaurants in Saratoga. And finally, last but not least, at least the last one we're going to talk about today, and number 12, is the history. And if you're a history buff, then you're going to love Saratoga Springs because there is a ton of history located in this area. There's a lot of things associated with it. Um, we've had presidents come and speak in the area. Um, we've had casinos uh, that have been run uh, back in the day. Uh, also, uh, a couple things to keep in mind is there was the Battle of Saratoga, which of course is the turning point of the Revolutionary War, which happened not too far from the city of Saratoga, uh, over in the town of Saratoga, but that's pretty close by, you can go and take a tour of that. And also a little known fact that the potato chip was actually invented in Saratoga, and there's a pretty good story behind that. So if you want to know that story, then reach out and contact me and I'll tell that story to you personally. And there you have it folks, those are 12 things you must know if you're going to be coming and living in the Saratoga Springs area, but you know, he like said, that's just the tip of the iceberg, there's a lot more of that we can talk about. Um, and I will be putting out videos, you know, talking more about this kind of stuff, talking about real estate, buying, selling houses, investing in real estate in this area. So make sure, if you haven't yet, make sure you like my channel as well as click on that bell so you get notified when any, uh, any new videos get put out and I'm putting out a ton of videos here um, other than that reach out if you got any questions you got to reach out and get a hold of me let's have that discussion see what you're looking for see how I can help you out with any of your real estate needs um, feel free to call send me a text it should be an email whatever works best for you but get a hold of me today and keep a lookout for that next video and I will see you on the next one